Space Shuttle Discovery stands poised for space once again after an early morning ride Saturday to Launch Pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The rollout began just before midnight when the crawler transporter inched its way out of the vehicle assembly building. The crawler completed the drive May 3rd at 6.06 a.m. Eastern. The oldest of NASA's active shuttles, Discovery will install Japan's large laboratory to the International Space Station. Let's all for Discovery's STS-124 mission is targeted for May 31st at 5.02 p.m. Eastern Time. From NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm Laura Lichtenberger. Safety systems are 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and lift off on Endeavour, going where east and west do me at the International Space Station. Houston, now control. Houston, Endeavour, roll program. Roger roll, Endeavour. Roll maneuvers, complete Endeavour, and take down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. Florida coast gets an early sunrise as Endeavour heads out on the course to intercept the International Space Station in a day and a half. Endeavour, you're going throttle up. There's no action on the left RTS messages. We'll have words later. No going throttle up. Copy, no action on the RTS message now. Endeavour's heading out 51,000 feet in altitude, 10 miles from the Kennedy Space Center, downrange 11 miles. I spoke about wings. The hydraulic system's in good shape, as are the electricity producing the fuel cell. Separation confirmed. And the wind that 